CaseyIsTheTown.com. This is a story about Janice Burks, 23, from Kansas City. Janice loved her daughters. She was determined to make life better for herself and for her daughters. She would do anything for them. That was her focus. On November the 30th, 2021, Jonice Burks went to the bank. Jonice, her boyfriend, and possibly another person were in the car. Around 11 p.m., witnesses in the area heard multiple gunshots. Jonice was blicked in the head and died in her car a few blocks from her family's house at 74th Street and Raytown Road. 12 found Jonice Burks dead in a parked vehicle with gunshot wounds just after 11 p.m. Tuesday. A suspect was arrested by 12 but was released shortly after with no charges. The family says they don't hear much about the case. You hate to keep hearing new evidence. No new this. No new that. Nothing's happened. But how hard are you trying to make something happen? That's the question her mother said. How do you go to the ATM with your boyfriend and another person? And nobody seen nothing? Somebody seen or know something? Her family deserves justice. This ain't no street politics or op talk. If you seen or heard somebody bragging about it, you need to turn that person in. Janice did not deserve this. My heart goes out to this family. I'm out of here. Well, Janice Burks lived for her daughters. Her family says she went to the bank with her boyfriend and never came home. They say there's more to the story and they want someone to be charged. For Janice Burks' family, there is one way to describe her. A light. She was just a light. The 23-year-old mother of two little girls lived for them. She loved her, her girls and she was determined to make life better for herself and for her girls. Um, she would do anything for them. And that was her, her focus. On November 30th, her mother, Monica Jackson, says she went to the bank. Janice, her boyfriend, and possibly another person were in the car. Monica and her brother, Titus Lauderdale, her gunfire outside. Disbelief, more so. I had to call a couple different people to verify that that was actually her car. Her mother says she was shot in the head and died in her car a few blocks from their home near 74th Street and Raytown Road. The evidence is there. It's there. Since then, a man was arrested and released without charges. The family says they don't hear much about the case. You know, you hate to keep hearing no new evidence, no new this, everything, you know, nothing's happened. But how hard are you trying to make something happen? That's the question. While they wait for answers, Janice's daughters are growing up. Just like watching her take her first step not too long ago was difficult, knowing that she's never going to see that. I'm going to do my best to keep her memory going for them. They hope someone who saw what happened to Janice will come forward. That mean everything to me.